Joe Green live here in Studio B with Melissa Carper. Welcome. Hey, Joe. Thanks for having me. Well, it's it's a pleasure. I've been looking forward to it. And, of course, thanks for carving out time ahead of your show tonight um, at the Gray Eagle with uh, John R. Miller, right? That's right. Tonight oh. and with, with John R. Miller. Yeah, ha- I'm happy we could squeeze this in. We had a day off yesterday, so we were able to drive from uh, wherever we were, Birmingham. <laughs> yeah, you have to drive a little and recover from, sh- you know, when you've just done a show. There's a little bit of recovery time, am I right? For sure, there's uh, recovery time. Yeah, mm-hmm. well, introduce your accomplices with you today here in Studio B. Yeah, I've got Doug Strahan on guitar. and Beautiful hollow body, by the way, Doug. Thank you. And Rebecca Paddock on fiddle. Yeah, welcome. Hey there, thanks. <laughs> and that's a name we know from Buffalo Gals, right? And uh, you guys worked together a long time, haven't you? Yes, we have. <laughs> yeah, we're in Sad Daddy together, too. Yes. Mm-hmm. Martin and I were just talking about Sad Daddy down the hall. So yeah. um, one of the releases from this year, you know, we're considering uh, right now we're trying to get the listeners to vote on the top 100 new releases from this year. And that oh, was sweet. certainly one we played from I'm, quite a bit. I'm up against Sad Daddy. Ah, uh, well, you know. <laughs> All right, let's do uh, let's do the first song then. Sounds good. And we're celebrating the new album, Ramblin' Soul, right? That's right. In fact, this is the title track we're going right. to play first here. All right. Oh, see. Three. <laughs> Call my home It's out on the open road Just wherever that wind does blow I love the feeling of the freeway Rolling down the hills and plains No, you can't keep me in a hole Cause, Lord, I'm a rambling soul I'm gonna ramble down to Arkansas Go see my ma and pa Then on over to New Mexico And visit the old Pueblo Would you like the red or green chilies? I never tasted something so tasty Yeah, you know that I'm gonna be bad There's something here in the air that I like Oh, Lord, I'm a rambling soul Where do I call my home? Well, it's out on the open road just wherever that wind does blow I love the feeling of the freeway Rolling down the hills and plains No, you can't keep me in a hole Cause, Lord, I'm a rambling soul for you of Ramblin' Soul, Melissa Carper and friends here in Studio B. I wanted to read a quote. I don't normally do this, but this one kind of took me. Um, It was uh, the quote from Saving Country Music, and I stole it from your website. Uh, Melissa Carper is one of the greatest classic golden era country singers and composers of this generation. 
A uh, new batch of songs from Melissa Carper is something to smile and rub your hands together about, like waiting for permission to cut into an apple pie. And I thought, that's exactly how I felt when wow. I found out we had a new <laughs> album from you. Oh, thank you, Joe. And yeah. I also enjoyed uh, uh, the uh, nickname that Chris Scruggs has given you, Hillbilly Holiday. Yeah, I like that, too. When I released Daddy's Country Gold, he made a post and called me Hillbilly Holiday. And ever since then, I've been I stole that from him now. I yeah. put that in my bio. Yeah, I was glad you did because, you know, for some reason I hadn't heard that. But, you know, particularly that song, I think, shows off maybe one reason why he would call you that, you know, because there are hints of Billie Holiday in the vocal, I think, um, in your own way. I mean, you don't sound just like Billie Holiday, but I think it gives that feeling. You understand? What cool. I'm well, I'll certainly take that comparison. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so uh, uh, Ramblin' Soul is out. It was it came out uh, last month, right? Released. Yes, November eighteenth. That's was right. The release. You know that was a, a release date for quite a few albums. I, I don't know how, how all of you artists chose November eighteenth, but you and Billy Strings and oh yeah, uh, somebody else was it uh, Vince Herman? Uh, it was several that oh, cool. all released on the eighteenth. So yeah. Happy about that. So you're going to be at the Gray Eagle tonight. Um, That's right. Are you uh, are you just are you playing with these two friends, or is it going to be more people on in the band? Or it'll be this trio right here. The trio mm -hmm. here. Great. Sounds terrific. Thank you. Sounds terrific. Um, you let's see. There was something else I was going to ask you about. Oh, well, I'll get into it. I'll get into it later on. Um, we we mentioned. Um, uh, well, I was going to mention the Carper family. Now that. That, was that your actual family, your blood family, or is that... To... Well, I, I did play with my blood family when I was really young, and we called it the Carper family. Okay. And, and uh, then in Aust when I moved to Austin the first time in 2009, I formed a band with uh, Jen Miori Hodges and Beth Chrisman, and we called that the Carper family. We couldn't come up with a bad band name, and that's just what we ended up with. So. Well, all right. And you're playing a big old K bass. You told me off the air that uh, you've had that's been a companion a long time. Yes, that's right. My parents bought me this K bass when I was in high school. I was probably 15 or 16 when they bought it for me. Beautiful and sounds great too. Thank you. Yeah, I, I uh, broke her in. You <laughs> <laughs> well. Uh, 